Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now today I've got something pretty exciting for you. I think I found the Russian analog to McDonald's. Now the place is right behind me. We're gonna go and check it out. We're also gonna do some taste testing as well. So get ready for the complete package. Before we head on inside, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a backstory about the restaurant and a little bit about where we are. Now, we're really in a quite random place here in Moscow. We're right alongside the Minsk Highway, which you can see just a little bit off in the distance there. And where we actually are here is basically just a turn off to a petrol station. And this is Luke Oil, which is a very well-known chain of petrol stations throughout Russia. And then the restaurant is right here. And this is the only one in Russia and it actually opened yesterday. So depending on when you're watching the video, if you're watching it right as it came on the channel, this is only the second day of trading. And the restaurant is called 100. 100, you can see it right there. And then the red and white sign there says Miratok, which is actually the company that is the creator and owner of this particular restaurant. And of course, a lot more in the future. And the actual way you'd actually say the name of the place, it's called Sto which is 100 in Russian. And then the entrance right here. I pointed this out in lots of videos. You always know somewhere is newly opened in Russia when you see the balloons. And I always think that the richest man in Russia is whoever is selling balloons to all these new, newly opened businesses. And they're also advertising for more stuff. If anybody wants to come and work, give them a call. And we'll go on inside and check it out a little bit closer. Actually, one more thing before we walk on in the entrance. I've just come around the back here. They do actually have a drive-through section where you can pull up and order anything from the menu. Now, please tell me, does this look similar to McDonald's or maybe a burger restaurant where you live? Uh, this is actually something that isn't new in Russia. Uh, McDonald's, of course, was here. It's now replaced with Kuzna i Tochka. And they do have the drive-throughs at these standalone restaurants. Most of the restaurants in Moscow aren't uh, like this by the highways. So this is a little bit of a novelty, if you like. Of course, once you order, come here to do the payment. And you drive forward to do the pickup. And then you can head off in the car right back on the highway. While I've been living in Russia, I don't actually have a car, so I get around by public transport. Actually, to get here today, I walked from my house to the train station, and then uh, the stop I got off, it was about a 25 minute walk. This is actually in my region of Moscow where I live. So it's actually a little bit easier to get to than someone living on the far side of Moscow. Probably have to drive an hour or more on the highways. So this is actually really cool that I could come here and it's not too far from my house. Okay, now it's time to walk on inside and check the place out. Just a few basic things. Always the usual do not do's. It's open every day, 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. So it's fairly normal opening hours, probably not late enough for a fast food place. This is kind of fun though. Smiles. Good for family, USB charging, and they even like dogs. Let's head on inside a little bit further. And I'm gonna give you a full tour of the restaurant. And then I'm gonna order some food, sit down and do some tasting. Now this of course is a brand new location. It literally opened yesterday. And of course it's not very well known yet. There is a little bit of advertising it on social media, but I think over the course of this week, it'll get out a little bit more to the bigger population of Moscow. But there's lots of space to sit down. And the USB charging is interesting, because I just noticed here on the desk, they've actually even got wireless charging. So you can put your phone right there. 
and do charging. And then there's also plugs. If you want to plug in to charge your phone there with a cable or USB. There's even type C if you've got an Apple device. Some of the Apple phones now have got type C. And it's a really nice cafe walking inside. Very subtle colors. It's not too loud and bright. There's also a kids section as well, which is really cool. <laughs> Hello. And then the counter here. And now you've got the option of ordering at the register right there with the lady. Or you can use the self-checkout, which we'll do that in a minute and have a look. And then once your order's ready, there's the screen there with the number and what your order will be. There's also bathrooms back here, male and female bathrooms, and then the back part of the restaurant here. Now, I've been here a little while, and when I first walked in, it was really quite busy. And now that I'm filming, it's like there's nobody here, and it's really not the feeling that I got when I first got here. I've been here about an hour and a half, so it's Really strange now I'm filming and there's no one here. I've actually even got my jacket and bag over here in the corner. Uh, I've actually got the lights up here, I think, ahead of Christmas time. These fairy lights get put up everywhere around Russia for the holidays coming up. A really nice feel to the place. Is this anything like a fast food restaurant where you live? Let me know in the comments. Now, I'm not going to judge the place on how many people are here because, of course, we're on a major highway here. Maybe people didn't even know about it. They maybe pulled into the petrol station and they just noticed it. Or maybe they made a special trip just like I did. Actually, I just noticed here too, they've even got coat hooks. If you want to take your jacket off and hang it up, especially right now being winter, you might come inside with a, a jacket on. And let's have a look at the menu. So at the self-service checkouts here, these look very similar to the ones at Kuzni Itochka, or even if you go to Burger King or KFC. Pretty sure it's a company that must provide these machines. And actually the tap and go payment here has got Miratok Supermarket on it, which is obviously the owner of this chain of restaurants as they get more of them. And then just coming through to the menu here, Got the option of dine in or take away. Now, it does offer languages, but there's only Russian. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to order what I need or what I like. The good thing is they've got some pretty good pictures and all the different burgers. And then we have the chicken nuggets and chicken wings. Lots of choices. I think that might even be shrimp right there. And then there's fries. And then lots of different coffee and tea options. In Russian fast food places, coffee and tea is quite a popular option rather than a soda. And then they've actually got the Miratok uh, fruit juices right here. And then their sodas are actually Eves which is Pepsi. So if you know the change of the brands in Russia, uh, Frustal is the one that's replacing Miranda. And then Eves Cola there would be Pepsi. And they also have some desserts as well, which is nice. And I'm just wondering if I should maybe try one of the cakes. And then there's also ketchups right there. And that's all the menu. Actually, I, one thing I did miss was they have wraps also. I think maybe this is the name of the company that provides this service here and they haven't updated it. So I made my order and I'm just waiting now. It's 624. There's the waiting ones and the ready ones. And of course we can see the kitchen back there. And I just thought I'd have a look a little bit closer at the Desserts right here. Have a look at all the different choices of desserts. And there's even pastries as well. 
And this is the Miratok drink. You can actually buy this in all the supermarkets also. It's kind of fun that they've got it in the restaurant. And there's also the full menu at the back here. Okay, my order is ready. We're gonna take it and sit down. Looks like everything is there. And then the kitchen back here. Everybody preparing everything. I'm excited to taste this burger and let you know what I think. So I found myself a nice quiet spot at the back of the restaurant where there's nobody nearby. There is a few more people kind of walking in and out uh, as I'm filming this part now. Unfortunately, I can't do it all very quickly at one time. I've got to set up the camera, get the right position. So what I've ordered is a burger, classic burger, some fries right here. Now, they tend to call them French fries here, but they're fries. And what I do is I always tip them into the other side of the box. That's the best place to put them right there. And I got some cheese triangles right here as well. And then I got the Eves Cola, which I know very well is Pepsi. Personally, I'm not a big Pepsi fan. I prefer Coca-Cola drinks, all the different products from Coca-Cola. The only time I en ever end up with Eves is if I come to a place like this where it's the drink that they serve, or if maybe I go to a sports venue and that's what they have over cola products. So. No worries, they don't actually have their drinks on uh, the post-mix machine where they use the syrup and the gas. So actually for the same price, you actually get the half liter bottle, which is actually really nice. I got myself a cup to pour it in and I'm just gonna turn everything a little bit around and we'll get on with the tasting. One of the things that's quite noticeable with the different packaging that it's all been prepared in is they actually have the logos on the cups on the fry wrappers and on the burger packaging. When McDonald's closed and Cousinary Tochka opened, they had only generic packaging. And there was a lot of talk about this in social media and on news reports that, you know, there was no more ink. There wasn't a way to do the branding. But of course, now that this has opened, they were well prepared for this event starting yesterday and now today to have all of the brand complete so it's nice to see the one thing that i'm curious about and i've asked a few people here at the restaurant is what is the reference to the number 100 and what it means for the miratok restaurant and no one seems to know the answer one gentleman that was ordering at the same time as me said that the hundred represents a hundred percent or complete satisfaction or perfection in the product that they're offering, which makes complete sense. Uh, I actually hadn't thought about that till he mentioned it. We had a little bit of a chat while I was ordering my meal and he was ordering his, and he seemed a little bit uh, educated about the, the brand. And, you know, hopefully it's 100% satisfaction. Everybody in Russia knows Miratok uh, supermarkets and the meat that they produce so well. So there's already that brand awareness before you even walk in the restaurant. I might do the tasting in a little bit of a reverse order here. So the fries are very yellow and golden and they're very crispy and there's a crunch to them when you eat them, which is really nice. Um, I mean, there's obviously a certain uh, variety of potato that all fast food companies around the world use to create the French fries or the, you know, the fries that are in takeaway restaurants. But these are very crunchy. I mean, they're really quite enjoyable. They're well salted. They're everything I want in fries. I don't tend to order uh, ketchup or any sauces with my meal. I just ha I'm happy to eat my fries as they come. Obviously, a lot of people like to dunk it in tomato sauce or barbecue sauce. They're all available as well on the menu, so they're more than uh, able to be purchased at the same time. But the fries are really nice. Let me try these cheese triangles. These are crunchy also. I'm a person that prefers chicken nuggets to cheese triangles. These are quite popular in a lot of fast food places. 
And if you're a cheese lover, it's basically deep fried cheese. It's actually really nice. Hmm. Now, my opinion is completely my own, of course. I did actually purchase this myself. I actually, uh, to get here, the walk from my house to the train station is about 20 minutes, and the train was about 30 minutes. And the walk from the train station here was 30, 40 minutes walk. Not particularly enjoyable because it's right by the main highway that we saw at the beginning of the video. Um, so I really did a bit of a trek to get here, and I really wanted to make this video of this analog of McDonald's here in Russia. So this is completely my own opinion. And I don't think there should ever be a bias when you come to this place. I mean, if they were to buy me the burger, would I make a better review? Not at all. I mean, I would be more happy if they gave me a little gift or something more than giving me a free burger. Oh. The fries are nice. Hmm. And of course, Eves Cola. The only thing is I prefer my drink cold or with ice, and this is at room temperature. This is very normal in Russia. Most shops that you go to, most takeaway places, they serve the drinks at room temperature. Of course, it's quite cold outside today, but it's okay that I can uh, drink it like this. But that really is Pepsi. I mean, actually, if you look at the small print on the bottle, it says Pepsi Co right there, which is the factory that was producing Pepsi in Russia, and it's now called Eves. So let's see how this burger tastes, shall we? So the burger that I actually ordered is called the Boss Burger, and I wonder if maybe the boss of the restaurant named it. Uh, it's very similar to a Big Tasty uh, burger. It's not the look of a Big Mac because that's really not what they're going for with these. Now, I did get mentioned uh, or called out on this in another video that I eat my burgers upside down. So when I look at the burger from my direction now, I see the, the bun right here. And then as I eat it, it exposes the bottom of the bun. Please let me know in the comments what's the right way to eat a burger. Am I meant to eat it like this, like I'm gonna do? Or do I turn it around completely and look at it? Uh, Hmm. Now this is how I eat the burger. Now of course this is a tasting video so you get the what's and all view and noises of me eating the burger as well. But this is really nice. The uh, Big Mac burger is not something that I personally like. You know, I prefer this kind of big hit looking style or big tasty. A burger where it's got the lettuce, tomato, and the mayonnaise and onions in there. But it's really good. And the sauce is dribbling out the back, but not much I can do about that. The thing is with this brand or this chain of restaurants is we already know the brand of the meat. We know the Miratok brand is so very famous in Russia. They supply meat to literally everybody. I think they're the biggest or the second biggest producer of all meats in Russia. So beyond beef, uh, pork, uh, lamb, chicken, all sorts of different kind of meat products. So they're already so well known before you even walked in here. So you're kind of expecting that the burger will be good because of the, because of the ingredients that they're using. Mm. This is nice. Mm. A little bit messy on my fingers, but no worries. I got plenty of napkins. I'm gonna eat a little bit more of this and I'm gonna let you know my final thoughts. Now, if you're curious what I paid for my lunch, it was 556 rubles. And it was that price because I added the cheese triangles. It would have been 440 rubles if not. So in US dollars, 
556 rubles is just about $5.50. Going by the exchange rate of about 100 rubles to a dollar. Of course, it's fluctuating right now, but I like to use the 100 to 1 rule. So $5.50 for burger, fries, a drink, and the cheese triangles together, which I think is excellent value. And if you were just to buy the burger, fries, and drink without the extra cheese triangles, you know, about $4.50 for a medium value meal, if you want to call it that. Let me know where you live in the world. Are you paying about that price for a meal like you've seen me eat? Uh, is it more or is it less? You know, of course, it's very difficult to compare worldwide pricing, but I think, you know, a medium value meal like this, $5.50 or 556 rubles is a very fair price. And even the fact that you get the actual half liter drink in a bottle as well, not just the post-mix syrup uh, sodas that you would get in a lot of fast food places. Overall, I really enjoyed the meal. Uh, you know, this is the first time coming here. I literally walked in. Uh, I did a bit of a walk around and look around and I'm here filming the video. I don't do very much preparation for these types of videos. I just turn up and make them. Uh, I only knew about this place two days ago and it opened yesterday and I'm here today. So I really didn't know much about it. There was very little on social media about it as well. Just the odd photo. There was no information leading up to the opening even. This is very normal in Russia. They don't do a lot of uh, building of the brand or hype around it. They just open the doors and, you know, let people come and taste it for themselves. I mean, overall though, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, I'm not a fan of Pepsi. I'd prefer Coke, but that's, that's not really anything I can do anything about. You know, the classic burger was very nice. The uh, sauce was a little bit juicy and runny, but that's not a problem at all, you know. I really enjoyed it. I mean, there's more things on the menu to choose from, you know, from a classic cheeseburger through to other chicken burgers and uh, other types of beef burgers. So I hope to come back and try something different on another visit. So as I slowly make my way out of the restaurant, I just thought I'd have one last look around and show you what it looks like now. There's a few people there ordering. There's one family in the kids area and there's a few people in the back here. Now this is Friday afternoon that I'm here. And of course, I don't expect every place that I go to to be packed full. You know, that's not really the point of the video to show how many people are here. Maybe somebody discovered it just by going to the petrol station or somebody knew about it from social media. I think in the coming weeks, it'll pick up a little bit. Of course, the location's a little bit awkward on a main highway here, so it's not gonna be somebody that walks here or comes here who lives in the nearby area unless they come by car, because that's the only way to get access to this place. It's a little bit later after I've walked out and finished my meal now, and I just thought I'd show you the place from the outside with the fairy lights on. And one thing that's interesting, this car right in front of us here, Belka car, now this is actually a ride-sharing car where you can use an app and book this car and wherever it was parked somewhere in Moscow you can literally rent the car by the minute and then take it somewhere like this burger place. Uh, you could even leave it right here if this is a dedicated drop-off area or you could drive it home and I wonder if the people that have come in this Belka car came here intentionally to this restaurant and got a rented car to come out here. Perhaps they didn't own a car and that's how they came to this place. It's very interesting just to see that park right at the front. As I leave the ferry lights of 100 restaurant behind me, I want to thank everybody for watching the video and coming traveling with Russell and discovering a new restaurant in Moscow. Is it an analog of McDonald's? Is it an analog of Kuzny Itochka, you know, there's definitely a lot of similarities with the place. This place was completely brand new, built and modeled and opened yesterday. Uh, there was actually an existing building here, but they've completely uh, remodeled it to the absolute nth. 
Actually, as I walked back out the exit there, you could smell the wood and the carpentry of the door, which always is nice when it's a new building or place that you walk into. So yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the place. I liked the meal that I ordered. I'm not a big fan of the cheese triangles, but you know, what can I do? Would I come again? Absolutely would, yes. I probably wouldn't venture all the way here to this location because it's really not convenient for me without a car to come here. But if they open locations a little bit more uh, closer to Moscow or something at a shopping center, I would definitely go there. I already do go to the Miratok uh, cafes that they've got in the supermarkets. There's one in the town where I live. So it's somewhere that I would shop or somewhere that I go and order a burger from anyway. And you know, this particular location, being that it's really close to a major highway, is super convenient for anybody driving in this direction or someone that's even just pulling in for petrol. What a bonus, you can get to come to this restaurant. This is the first one in Russia and the first one in Moscow as well. So it's only gonna get bigger from here. Huge backing though from the company being that they're one of the largest meat producers in Russia. I am on Telegram, if you would like to follow me on Telegram. I did actually post photos today of me coming out here and behind the scenes of making the video. Uh, there's a link to that right there. If you want to watch an older video on the channel, you can click that link now. Perhaps you want to watch a video of me tasting the Russian analog of McDonald's, Kuzni Itochka. There's a link coming up right now. You can click that right after this and watch another video. Okay, everybody, I'm off on another adventure. Bye for now.